happiness and love. This is Casey Rogers and Bobby Lightning Smith. I'm Janine Walters and I'm here at Golden Gate Park, the heart of Haight-Ashbury. And we're here with thousands of radicals at the Golden Gate Park Human Bee Inn. Not a sit-in because you don't really sit, you just be. It's January 14th, 1967. It's the beginning of a new year, a new age of people, the beginning of a new era of love. That's right. With our lonely hearts banded together, we are able to say we want a revolution, to listen to the color of our dreams, and create a world that turns us on. Because we know that life goes on within you and without you, that in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make, and of course, we all want to change the world. And Casey here is scheduled to speak fairly soon, although someone has cut our wires. So for now, all we have is the sound of silence. But I believe that silence only makes this movement more profound. If you look around, you'll see thousands of people. Groove into their own rhythms, sharing the love, flowers in their hair. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining on all of us. We're all feeling each other's vibes, man. This is the start of a revolution. So if you've been here, if you've seen this, spread the word. Come on down and join the flower children of the 1960s. It's not only here. It's here, there, and everywhere. All across the nation, there's a strange vibration. So come on down. And be sure to wear some flowers in your hair. Fix the microphones, you better get out there quick. Here, hold my guitar. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, I'm here with Casey Rogers and he's here to speak to you about how we as people have the ability to change the world. Power to the people, right on! Hey, hey all you people. Can you hear me? I came here today to give you a message. A message about peace and only peace. From the dawn of time, human beings have fought in countless wars. Wars over trivial material things or elaborate impossible ideas. Our fathers and our fathers' fathers have been murdered, wounded, robbed of their lives fighting for such things. And what did anyone get? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing but misery. Do we as humans need to fight? Or do we have it in us to give peace a chance? Woo! Give peace a chance! Uh... You know what I'm talking about. The time has come for us to reject the wars of our fathers and start a revolution, a new generation, a new beginning. 
How many times have you lost a friend? A child? A mother or father? Fighting in the war at Vietnam? And we ask, what for? What is it that our loved ones died for? What is being solved in fighting in these battles? But I say, let's take another path. A path into a new era of love. Let's start a new era of love, peace, freedom. Freedom to listen. Freedom to drop out of the war. Freedom to veer from the paths of our fathers. So come on, people. Let's choose to give peace a chance. Turn on your televisions. Tune in your radios. Drop out of the war. And be in. Come on, say it with me now. Everyone, turn on, tune in, in, drop out, be in. Turn on, tune in, drop out, be in. Turn on, tune in, drop out, be in. Turn on, tune in. Turn on, tune in, drop out.